I drink like a hundred ice macchiatos a day and practically nothing else. Wow. There's a really cool coffee place, oh. Jitters, at the Steamtown Mall. You ever been there? No. You've never been to Jitters? No. Ryan, you are so dorky. Give me your number so I can text you. Um. Come on. Can I have an email address? Leave that off, but I just thought you should know. Mm -hmm. I think something a little fishy is going on. A little fishy? Yeah. I mean, I've been noticing them all day. I just think it might be. That little girl is a child. I don't want to see you sniffing around her anymore this afternoon. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Boy, have you lost your mind, because no, no, no. I'll help you sir. find it. Sir. What you looking for? Ain't nobody going to help you out there. Jesus can come through that door, and he's not going to help you if you don't stop sniffing after my child. OK. Stanley yelled at me today. That was one of the most frightening experiences of my life. So how are we going to energize our office? I mean, I haven't done anything since Christmas. Pam clearly has just given up trying. So what we need to do is we need to get things going. We need to get percolating a little bit. Anybody have any ideas what we could do? Any suggestions? Yes, Andy. What if we changed our outgoing answering machine message so it just had a little more zing and a little more pep? Zing and pep. See, that's, those are the kind of words we're looking for. Yes, Jim. What about if we did an even newer voicemail message that had even more zing and pep? Now we're cooking. I like this. Maybe a whole theme, like a rap, a rap rhyme. An urban thing. An urban, yeah. Stanley, you want to help us out with that? Stanley, Earth is Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do having a little Leave brain me alone, damn we're it. having a brainstorm session. Did I stutter? Good, this is good. I'm going to grab a glass of water. <clears throat> hey, what up, Cynthia? Just hang on a second, Cynthia. Well, it turns out that Terry was already suspicious because she had caught Stanley and Cynthia a few months ago. So Stanley promised that he would stop, and he did. End of story. Well, not exactly. Uh, Cynthia kept calling him, she would not stop calling him, and she was in love with him. Oh, and get this, Cynthia also married. So, it is 6 a.m., and D'Angelo and I are about to go house to house to give everybody their Dundee's nomination certificate, just like the Oscars. Yes. And this happens every year. Every year, year okay. this happens. Year. You have a lot to learn, my friend. <laughs> well, you know, why don't we try it, and if it, goes, if it goes good, it'll be part of my tradition. Why are you even saying that? You're going to love it. Here we go. This way, this way. Nice house. Congratulations! Surprise! Yep. Okay. You and Pam have both been nominated for Dundee Awards. Okay. Wow. There we go. Have Pam come I, down. No, no, she's not here. Okay, What's I'm gonna going get you. Stay in bed. Congratulations. Stanley, we love you. Have you lost your mind? Get off my property before I call the police. All right. Okay. You got it. Good. Leave it at the door. Or? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Earlier today, Stanley sassed me, and Toby gave me some suggestions on how to discipline him. They did not work, obviously, because they were stupid. So I am now going to fake fire him. What does that mean? It's like a mock execution. That's not a good idea. Yes, it is a good idea. It's the only possible solution I have left. Well, you can actually fire him. No, okay. I've had enough of you. Why are you telling us this? Because I want you to behave as if I'm actually firing him, Oscar, okay? Michael, if you hadn't told us this, then we would have thought that you were actually firing him. I'm not firing him. I'm not. I need you to act like I am firing him. Just what I'm going to do 
So I'm going to pretend that I'm firing him. And I need you to act like I am firing him. Do you get that? Do you get it? I'm teaching him a lesson. He needs to learn humility. All right? That's all I'm... Okay, here he comes. Let's just play act. Stanley, may I talk to you for a second? Stanley Hudson, you are fired. Are you serious? I am serious. We are all serious. You are fired like a heart attack. You're firing me over three words. Yes. Have you lost your mind? Do you think I'm going to let you do this to me? Hmm. I've watched you screw up this office for 10 years, and I'm filing a lawsuit, and I'm going to tell them about every stupid thing you've ever done up in this office. All right. All right. OK. You know what? Now you know how I feel. This was a fake firing. Lesson learned. Good work, everybody. Very nice. So I'm not fired. <sighs> That's it. And uh, do you have anything to say to me? Oh, yes, I do. You are out of your damn little pea-sized mind. What is wrong with you? Do you have any sense at all? Okay. Do you have any idea how to run an office? Yes. Every day you do something stupider than you did the day before. That's and I think right. there's right. no possible right. way right. he can right. top that. Okay. But what do you do? You find a way, damn it, to top it. You are a professional idiot. Hey, stop it! OK, everybody out. Who? Yeah, everybody, except Stanley. my glasses. Okay, you know what? Why don't you take my hand what? and leave them and let's get out of here. Okay, okay. It is important to be mindful of all belief systems at our holiday party. I've been here 18 years and have suffered through some weird thematic Christmases. A Honolulu Christmas, a Pulp Fiction Christmas, a Muslim Christmas, Moroccan Christmas, Morocco Christmas. I don't want it. Christmas is Christmas is Christmas is Christmas. I got Stanley tickets to see Louis Black for his birthday. Might not have been the best idea. I don't want no Kwanzaa wreath. I don't need a dreidel in my face. That's its own thing. And who's that black Santa for? I don't care. I know Santa ain't black. I could care less. I want Christmas. Just give me plain baby Jesus lying in a manger Christmas. What's up? Are you good at jigsaw puzzles? Are you kidding me? It's all I did every summer when my brothers were out sailing. Okay. But if this is a romantic thing with Gabe, I should probably... Oh, no, 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 no. It's not weird at all. You have your new girlfriend, I have Gabe. This is just as friends. Well, okay then. Yes. At least until Stanley calms down. Oh, is Stanley... Don't, don't, don't look. I accidentally did his Sudoku. Andy. <laughs> 